Let's look at the two card one input jack. Any CV going in there is automatically routed through the two card one switch on the aux card. In the upper position, the switch controls the timbre knob. Basically, control voltaging that move. So it'll go from a sine to whichever wave you have chosen here. That's going to a square wave right now. We can use the built-in modulation oscillator. It's on the aux card. It's just a slow sine wave up and down. Take the CV out, go to two card one in, and we get that same move. With a saw and sine to triangle. The next position, the middle position, uses CV to switch between the wave shapes. So you need to have the switch on the complex oscillator timbre section in the down position so the CV will then take it through all of the three wave shapes and you need to turn the wave or the timbre knob all the way to the right. And the final position, it basically switches the modulation oscillator's range up and down. Here's the unaffected wave. And now using frequency modulation, we'll take this out so you can just hear that. I'm sorry, amplitude modulation. From the low frequency oscillator, this needs to be in the down position so the CV can control voltage switch it up and back. Now with CV from the mod oscillator aux card. Frequency modulation. Back to amplitude. And changing the pitch of the easel's mod oscillator. All sorts of things are possible. I encourage you to explore. I was just using the mod oscillator of the aux card out to go to two card one in for ease of demonstration. Don't forget, any control voltage can go into two card one. Let's set this back up to be on timbre. Uh, flip this to... That's the way we originally had it. Now I can engage the uh, pulser. And we could actually come from the sequencer and go to two card in. Or the envelope generator. Even the easel's pulser, or random. You get the idea. Explore. Play around.